Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Keystone Passport 2520 RL. It's a great couples coach, comes in at a little under 5,000 pounds. Let's go ahead and start on the front here, we'll make our way around and then head on in. So you'll see right here we have the propane tank cover, two 20 pound propane tanks in there. Easy to get to as well, just undo these thumb screws, lift up the door and you can access both tanks. Right behind that you have your uh, rails for the battery box there. It is wide enough that if you want two batteries you can have two batteries on that rail system. Coming up the front here is the black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle here. That way it doesn't beat up your front end. You'll also see on the far end here you do have solar prep. So if you want solar, if you plan on doing a lot of boondocking and you want that trickle charge on your battery, all you have to do is buy the portable panels with the controller installed, hook it up and that will start to trickle charge your batteries. Also on that side you have a light over there in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. And then you'll also notice the aerodynamic front end here. It has a nice curve to it. That way it has uh, better towability than a lot of the competition out there. Fiberglass on the front here and of course on the sides as well. You have your laminated sidewalls with an aluminum structure. Uh, speaking about structure, if you take a look at the frame underneath here, this unit does have a huck bolt frame. A couple of advantages to huck bolt. One, uh, the number one place or the place that your frame ever starts to rust out at is generally right at those weld points. So by eliminating the welds and going to the huck bolts, it eliminates uh, a lot of chance for that rust. Also, if you ever do have any damage, the huck bolt frame is a lot easier to replace because they can remove whole sections rather than having to worry about having a bent frame. So definitely some big advantages to that huck bolt system. If we take a look at the pass-through, you'll see this does have a covered hinge, so you won't have a bunch of rust and everything coming down your door here. Also magnetic. Take a look at that. Super simple and easy to use. You don't have a plastic hook that's going to snap off when you forget about it and try to close it. We take a look inside. Nice big pass-through storage compartment. You'll see the door on the other side is the same size as the door here. A lot of times manufacturers will give you a big door on the camp side but a small one on the off door side to save some money. Not the case when it comes to Passport. There's also an LED light in here if you need to get in there at night. And then again you can see the aluminum frame running through there. So you make your way back a little bit you can see the power awning on here. Nice big power awning. Touch a button to have that roll out. Same thing to go back in. And underneath that you have an LED light strip in case you want light at night. And that way you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. You just flip a switch, you're good to go. Getting into the 2520 is also very easy. You see you have three steps here, the last one being nice and low, as well as the foldable grab handle. Uh, you know, that way from the very first step all the way into the coach, you have good control to make sure you won't slip and fall, especially after a rainy night. Uh, one of the cool things about this one, I didn't show you when we were underneath, but this unit does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So it is good for extended camping if you're going into the fall, you know, it starts, the temperatures start to drop down a little. That enclosed and heated underbelly will make sure your tanks don't freeze up on you. And also it helps keep a lot of the mud and stuff out of that bottom side of the camper. Right here you have an electrical outlet, which is great. You need to plug anything in. That is a place to do it right there on the outside. You take a look at the wheels, granted a little bit dirty, we haven't given this one a bath yet, but this does have the aluminum alloy wheels on there, so great looking. Also, it helps prevent any kind of rust or corrosion. Another thing that's cool about Passport, you know, they're all about towability. They utilize the load equalization axle system, which is a widespread axle system. That way you have less sway when going down the road. Come around to the back side here, open this up, not only do you have the big pass-through, but you also have this secondary storage right back here, uh, which this is really cool. This is uh, underneath the countertop in the back, and I like that they did this. For some of your smaller items, like you know, if you put firewood back here, or maybe marshmallow pokers, things like that, stuff for the pool, that's a great spot to put it right there. And you come around to the back side. This is a mount for a grill. Uh, it does have a grill underneath the bed inside, so uh, if you want to grill out, this is where you do it. It is on a swing arm mount, so it can swing around off to the side. And if you take a look underneath right here, you will see you have the propane quick connect right there. It's kind of tough to see. Um, but that way, you know, you have a place to plug that in so it feeds off your two 20 pound bottles up front. That way you don't have to bring one separately. So if you like to cook outside, the 2520 has you covered. Then right here on the other side of the bumper is your spare tire with the cover 
Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know it'll be in good shape. Big rear picture window on here as well, so you have a nice view out back. And right above that, you'll see the Passport is equipped with a backup camera prep. So that way, if you do want a backup camera, it is quite easy to have installed. Your sewer hose will store right here in the bumper. It is your square two bumper. Just pull this off and it'll slide right in there. Now, if we take a look up front here on the other side of this slide, a couple other things I do want to show you. Right here, you'll see this unit is equipped with an outside shower, both hot and cold access. It also has a black tank flush valve. So rather than taking your hose and sticking it down your toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping, take that same hose, screw it right in here. The black tank has sprayers built in and it'll wash it out nice and easy. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Passport 2520RL. This particular model is in the driftwood interior. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. So you see you have your fridge freezer right here. Nice big unit. You also have a cutout here for some of your taller items like a half gallon of orange juice, something like that. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Then you'll see the panels here do match the rest of the cabinetry so it blends in quite seamlessly. Right up top is your microwave. Underneath that, your hood with a light and fan. And as you would expect, directly underneath that is your three burner at wood cooktop. The front one there being high output. You also have an oven in case you want to do some baking, maybe bake some cookies or brownies. Uh, right up top here, you'll see some great extra storage. One of the things I really like that Passport does, showing some of the quality they put into the unit, you'll see they have some raised panel cabinetry here in the kitchen. Really gives it a great aesthetic. Then you have the brush nickel poles on there as well. They don't put a style in here, which I also like. So if you have some larger items, a little bit wider, you can easily fit them in here. Like if you want to put in, uh, you know, like your own spice storage rack or something like that, uh, it's easier to slide in there. And then you have some additional storage right over here. Underneath that, you'll see you have two big windows, really letting a lot of light into the RV during the day. And at night, you have a couple LED lights here. Uh, you actually have LED lights throughout the entire coach which are great, especially if you do a lot of boondocking because they use a fraction of the power. Uh, also, as you can see, they are nice and bright, put out a lot of, uh, lot of light, and they use a fraction of the, uh, or give out rather a fraction of the heat. Uh, you'll see right underneath here, there's also an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in a coffee maker, toaster, you can do it here. You can also put it over here because you have one right here on the back wall. So if you wanna you know, put your coffee maker back in the corner, that is also a good spot for it. But big countertop space all the way through here, which is great. Gives you a lot of spot to serve food or if you want to set up like a taco bar, or margarita bar, or something like that. This is a place you can do it. And then they also give you dual sink top covers here so you can utilize this sink as prep space. When I take that off, of course, that'll reveal the double bowl sink. Larger one on the left, smaller on the right, which is a perfect setup for washing and rinsing dishes. And they also give you the high rise faucet. You take a look underneath. You'll see you have some additional storage as well as two full extension ball bearing drawers. You can see those are nice and deep. So if you have some larger items like spatulas, big serving spoons, things like that, they will still easily fit right there in the drawers. Uh, if you take a look along the back here, again, this is a rear living. You see the jackknife sofa. This does fold down into a bed. It lifts up like so, the back drops down. But take a look at all the storage you have underneath. That's one of my favorite things about a jackknife uh, sofa is it gives you a ton of storage. Perfect for all of your bedding, extra pillows, some of the larger items you can stuff right down there. They also have these armrests, which are kind of cool. They just kind of float around there. But, uh, you know, again, it's just another nice little touch. You know, most manufacturers wouldn't do that. You'd just kind of be without them. I like the fact you have a place to put your arms. Then on the other side here, you will notice you have an end table, again, with an electrical outlet. So you do have electrical outlets on both sides of the couch to plug in all of your electronics. This is the window we saw on the outside, the nice big rear picture window. So if you do have a good view out the back, you can certainly enjoy it. Of course, LED lights here as well, some reading lights. Uh, and then across the top, you have additional storage there. All nice tinted glass doors. And you can see this is one big continual space all the way through. Right over here is another window uh, that allows for a nice cross breeze. You have a vent right up top, so you can open up the vent, open those up if you don't want to run your ducted AC, and that way you have a cross breeze coming through here, uh, airing out the camper a little bit. 
Now, this one does have a slide-out U-shaped dinette, which I like. Again, it's still under that 5,000-pound mark, gives you the big slide-out, which makes this space nice and open. The cool thing about a U-shaped dinette is it's great for any guests. If you have guests coming over, you have a spot where everyone can sit around and eat, play games, or if they need to stay the night. Uh, the jackknife sofa, while it does drop down into a bed, probably won't sleep most adults unless they're a little bit shorter. Whereas this right here, your U-shaped dinette will easily sleep to adults. Uh, so I do like that, again, for any guests. You can take the legs out right here. The table will just sit along the rails there, fill it in with cushions, and that will create your bed. The other cool thing the Passport does, they give you easy access to your storage underneath. Uh, you know, again, this is an added expense. Most manufacturers don't do this. They, you know, just say, hey, lift up the cushion, you know, get underneath there. You can do that here too if you want, but this just makes it that much easier. You'll also see windows all the way around that dinette. So during the day, it's nice and bright. Of course, at night, we have this guy right here. Now, right up front is your entertainment center. This is where you watch TV on those rainy days. Uh, this is connected to your multimedia center right here, which is a radio and CD player, also a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, go ahead and bring a movie collection with you, pop it in, you are good to go. Uh, this controls the speakers inside as well as the speakers outside. And again, it is Bluetooth capable. Right up top here, you can see you have some additional storage and then cut out there for some auxiliary equipment. You can see you have a couple USB ports as well as an outlet in there and then storage again underneath. And as I mentioned, you know, perfect place right down there for your DVD collection. Now, this is something that's really cool. If you take a look at this, I like that Passport does this. They have this in as many models as they can. And this is a nice, versatile closet space. So you can do a couple different things here. Um, you know, a lot of times you can use this as like an extra wardrobe or a coat closet. This particular model actually has a separate coat closet. I'll show you in just a little while. So myself, I would probably use this as pantry. You have the adjustable shelves here, or the removable shelves rather. So you have big pantry space. But really, whatever you want to use this for, you have the hanging rod, you have the removable shelves. It just gives you uh, that option and versatility. Thermostat right over here. As I mentioned, this unit does have ducted AC as well as ducted heat. Now, right in here is the bathroom. Uh, right down in the corner here is your foot flush lever toilet. You'll see you have a ton of leg room in front, so no worries there. You have the shower with an actual glass shower door there. Uh, you can see you have the shelves as well as your hand wand, nice big skylight up too, uh, allowing for a lot of natural light to come in and a little bit additional headroom. Over to the side of the skylight, you have a vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. And right next to the shower there on the other side is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage. Down below that, of course, your electrical outlet with a GFI plug. Uh, you have your sink top there and additional storage underneath that too. So you have a place to put, you know, some towels and things like that. Which again, if you want to make this a linen closet, do that too. It gives you lots of options. Now right over here, as I previously promised, this is your coat closet. So you can see you have uh, a couple of robe hooks right down there. Shelves all down below. Uh, I would personally probably use this for shoe storage. You know, throw some flip-flops in there, your normal shoes, whatever you want. But again, the options are limitless. It's up to you. One of my favorite parts about the Passport bedroom is the bed. This is a true residential size 60 by 80 queen bed. So if you're looking for campers, you're sick of your feet hanging off, you're a taller person, then definitely take a look at the Passports because having that uh, full 80 inches is definitely a big deal. Right over here, you will see the door. And again, it's an actual slider door. You don't have a curtain, you know, it's showing you the quality and that will give you the additional privacy you need if you have guests staying the night or maybe you're in here just changing, whatever it may be. I like having an actual door there. Uh, if, you if you are one, if I can talk, if you are one that likes to watch TV, this is a great place to have it. Uh, it's right up here in the corner, mounts to the wall. They already put a mounting bracket right in there. You'll see your uh, hookups are right there as well. That way you can watch a show before bed. Behind me is a window. You have a window on both sides. So if you want that cross breeze, again, if you don't want to run the AC, you can go ahead and open both of those up. Uh, oh, I did forget to mention there is storage underneath the bed as well. I can show you that real quick. So you have good storage. There's the grill. As I mentioned, we were outside. That one uh, just pops right on that uh, holder out there. Nice and easy to use. Both sides of the bed, you have mirrored wardrobe space. You can see the hanging rod going across the top, shelf up top there as well. Uh, down below, you have a little bit of shelf on that side. This side over here, you do have a little bit more. So if you have a CPAP machine, I'd probably put it over here. But 
Both sides do have electrical outlets to plug in any kind of electronics. You also have storage going all the way across the top there with the nice tinted glass and then LED reading lights right here underneath. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Passport 2520RL. Um, if you are interested in this coach, you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.